What's going on guys? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is The Holler Barbecue. Today we're talking smoked mac and cheese. Except today we're gonna kick it up a little bit by putting a little bit of chipotle powder into the cheese sauce, make it outstanding. So sit right there and let's get to cooking. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So to start off our macaroni and cheese, first thing we gotta do is cook the mac. So all I'm using is I got a box of just elbow macaroni here and what we wanna do is basically cook it to the lowest minutes on the box. In this case, it's seven minutes. All right, for the cheese sauce, we're gonna start off with just two tablespoons of butter. To that, we're gonna add a chopped jalapeno and a basically a cut up green onion where I basically just cut off the white part and where it's light green and then finally chop it up. And all we're doing here is basically just letting these things sweat down, melting the butter and letting them sweat down. I got it on pretty low heat right now. We're not looking to brown anything, just looking to uh, soften the veggies up a little bit. After about five minutes of letting those veggies sweat down, we're gonna add two tablespoons of just all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna actually, we need to cook that down too for maybe another five minutes just to get that flour taste out of there. We're not looking to for anything to taste like flour. This is our thickening agent, so you just wanna cook that down until that flour taste is gone, roughly around five minutes. Now we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream and one cup of whole milk. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up just so I can break up some of that flour just so it can get into this mixture really well. Add a fourth heaping teaspoon of salt. Now it's time for our chipotle. Now the recipe calls for like an eighth of a teaspoon, but add as much or little as you like here. The more you add, the hotter it's gonna be. And I'm just using just a regular chipotle chili powder. Now it's time for our cheese. I'm using three cups of, this is cheddar and jack cheese. Now when you're doing this right here, stay with it. Make sure you're on low heat. Stir it constantly because you don't want that cheese sauce to burn. So just once it's uh, get going, we want to do this for around 10 minutes. All right, guys. So after about 10 minutes, you should basically have something that looks like you want to take a, a chip and dip in there. Really thick cheese sauce. So now we're going to go ahead and start I'm just gonna, so I'm actually gonna cook it in this pan. So we're just gonna start dumping our macaroni noodles in. Now I'm not gonna dump them all yet, just in case this is too many. Let's do about half, take a look. I wanna make sure that everything's, you know, everything's coated really well. If it seems like too much cheese, then we just add more. Definitely need more. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of them. And that's what it's looking like right now. All right, if it's seeming a little bit too thick for you at this point, just go ahead and add a little bit of milk. And I'm actually gonna add just a dash just to try to thin it out just a tiny bit. And it's perfect the way it is, but if you want like a, you know, a wetter macaroni, then that's what we're gonna do, is just add a little bit of milk, just to thin it down a little bit. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and finish it off and get it ready for the smoker. Now we're not gonna be out there very long. It's only gonna be about 20 minutes, somewhere around there, 20 to 30 minutes, but we're just looking to brown the cheese. So we're gonna actually put a little bit more cheese on top of it. Not a whole bunch here. Just enough to cover the top up a little bit. Then, I'm just gonna be to use this panko breadcrumbs. This is gonna help us give us a little bit of crisp to it. Use as much or as little as you want here. There's no, doesn't really matter. Just uh, adding a little crisp to the, the macaroni. Then our last kick is a little bit more of that chipotle powder just to basically color the top of it. All right, so I've got the silverback cranked up to about 300 degrees. Like I said, we're not gonna be going very long in here, just basically to, to brown the cheese. I'm just gonna put my, my pot straight in. Now I'm using a mixture of char hickory and pecan pellets. I think it's gonna give that awesome little bit of hiss, kiss of uh, smoke on it. All right, so we'll check on this in about 20 minutes and make sure it's brown enough for us and then we'll be done. All right, guys. So I ended up cooking this about 25 minutes. Let me make sure you're in the shot here so you can see. So about 25 minutes, it's starting to look done enough for me and uh, I'm ready to eat it. So let's go ahead and get some out of here. Look at that, hope it's not too bright. All right, I think it was a little bit bright for you, but I think I fixed the lighting now. Hopefully it's, it's good where you can actually see it. See how cheesy this is? It's not dry. Let me give it a taste real quick. Mm. Still pretty hot. I know one thing, this did not come out of, of a box. Well, maybe the noodles did, but you know, the whole recipe though. You know, the pellet grill gives it just a, a hint of smoke, but then the chipotle powder actually is what puts it over top. You know, chipotle is basically just smoked jalapenos. Makes it really good, especially with the other jalapenos in there. All right, guys, that's it for our smoked chipotle mac and cheese. If you give it a try, put a comment below and let's talk about it. Tell me if you did anything different or if you like it. And as always, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.